During this time of turmoil, maybe not knowing where your next check is coming from, stuck home, being quarantined, stress, depression, anxiety, these are things that definitely escalate in those times. I want you to listen to our virtual town hall meeting, which is coming up next. We are gonna discuss all of these different aspects of mental health illness. You might not think you are struggling with this, but once you listen to everything we have to say, you might see certain points in your life where you might have some mental health issues. It all starts with a conversation. Let's begin that conversation. In 2003, I tried to take my life 15 times. There was 15 suicide attempts. And I would come home from school and my mother would be beat up, bloody. Mental health is not always something that we can easily see with our eyes. It comes from inside and affects our individual thoughts and feelings. Everyone's experiences are different and each person reflects their own mental state differently. So if you or someone you know feels like you want help staying mentally or physically healthy during this time, please do not hesitate to reach out. You can visit our website at brooklyn-usa.org or call our office at 718-802-3700. The current situation can be complicated and confusing, so know that we are here to help you. We are lucky to have this community and set of panelists that made the time to open a dialogue of this important subject. I also want to thank Health Jocks Virtual Festival 2020 but having important resources like these, free and open to all. Mental health is important. Maintaining our own mental health is not always easy, but we can work to support each other as a community to help us all stay mentally healthy. Next up, for our virtual town hall meeting, we have hosting today, Dr. Faith Brown. Next to her, we have legendary Coach Ted Gustus, who is our MC. On our panel, we have Bishop Dr. Lester Bradford. He will be speaking from a mind, body, and soul standpoint. We also have Karen Drakeford, also known as Nepa Kara. She will be speaking about self-motivation and systems pertaining to mental health issues. We also have sharing his personal story, fashion designer and jewelry artisan, Phil Harris. We have Joseph Watson, who will be speaking about community mentorship. And also, we have Nigel Calden, who will be speaking on financial literacy. Please join us for our virtual town hall meeting next up. We had a entire day of events and I started out this morning about 11 o'clock this morning and we made things happen 
with all the kids, beautiful day. But tonight we're here to talk about something that's very serious, particularly serious in our communities. Uh, we don't really get a chance to discuss this. And um, of course, like uh, uh, Borough President Eric Adams said, we thank uh, Health Jock for bringing this panel on for us. So without further ado, I like the opportunity to um, Dr. Faith Brown, come on in. Hello, everyone. Doc. Thank you, Coach. How are you? Thank Very you so well. much. Wow. <laughs> so good to see you. It's great to see you as well. Yeah. So, Doc, here we are now. We're um, getting ready to take on this challenge. Um, how have you been doing, first of all, yourself during these times? I know it's been difficult. Yes, listen, we are doing well, doing very well, doing all that we can to uh, make sure that we take care of our mental health because we know that's the foundation of absolutely everything. So very much like what we'll be discussing today, I do try to participate in as much exercise as I can, um, try to eat nutritionally yes. and, you know, try to um, get it all in so that we can all do what we need to do to keep everybody upright and healthy. So I'm doing well. How are you? Very well, you know, um, this after the coronavirus thing, and then now we run into um, Brother George uh, Floyd getting um, killed the way he got killed, uh, incredible. So I can imagine the mindset of all the people, um, especially our community. So right. right now, there's some difficult times for some people. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I know myself, I lost 22 uh, close friends and relatives to this coronavirus. And um, so it's difficult. It's difficult for young people and so forth. So this panel tonight is a great opportunity to have a, a strong discussion and so that we can uh, try to figure some things out. We want to be solution driven. You don't want to just talk absolutely, about it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So I, th you know, I'm really, really thankful to you and thankful to health jocks you know, for having the vision, right? The vision like three years ago to pull together a such thing as, you know, this type of festival. And, um, you know, the, the founders that be, we want to thank them for even looking out for this mental health yep. component, right? Exactly. Looking at the eight dimensions, eight dimensions for which they've outlined of wellness, emotional, financial, social, spiritual, occupational, Mm -hmm. physical, inter, um, intellectual, and environmental wellness, all of that, all of those are key components to making sure that black and brown communities remain safe, upright, and that we can advance our agenda, particularly during times like these. Well, I'm looking ready. I'm, 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 I'm ready to dive in and so we could <laughs> tackle this because uh, I know we got a tremendous pa um, panel here tonight. Yes. So uh, let's get busy with this. You know, I, it's been a long day. So I'm, I'm looking to hear some solutions, you know. Absolutely. Deep but breath and go. <laughs> Coach, do you mind if I do one thing first, though? I, I just yeah. like to thank all of our viewers who are, you know, tuning in to us, you know, via either Instagram Live or Zoom. I'd just like to thank them for tuning in, number one. And then secondly, to invite them to be a part of the conversation. If they have a question, to make sure that they submit their questions. We will have someone um, who will actually be looking out for those questions. And they can either pose those questions to any individual on the panel or to us collectively at, during our Q&A session. Excellent. So I'd just like to welcome them, to have them invite family and friends, pull up a chair and join the conversation as uh, this is one yes. of the most important pieces that we have. Mm, great. All right, so let's get this started. And by the way, this is something new and different for Health Jock. Uh, normally we would have this out in the park, Brooklyn Bridge Park. And, um, but this time we weren't able to do it. So he decided to do a virtue Health job. Some great challenges, but thank to the staff and people here, they were able to pull it off. Absolutely. So Absolutely. First of all, again, thank, you know, thanks to everyone and to Health Jocks for assembling this distinguished panel, right? Um, so much is going on in our community right now, and I couldn't think of a better time um, to be dealing, you know, with this message, this type of message that we have. Um, you know, I was once asked, coach, what is the greatest threat to our mental health? And I responded by saying lack of awareness, right? Mm. It's hard to fix something. It's hard to solve something that we can't see. 
So awareness is so important. Awareness around what is going on with us both externally and internally, right? What's going on with us spiritually, physically, and emotionally. You know, um, just one of the um, examples we have find is that given the state of our economy right now, many of us may sense uh, being stressed financially. You know, we've had, you know, many people have been laid off or furloughed. We saw the numbers out this morning, um, all time high for African Americans standing at 16.8% unemployment. Wow. And undoubtedly for some, you know, that can be uh, quite stressful. And so what we want people to know is that, you know, the, the effect that stress can have on the body while we can't see it, that negative energy associated with that, right, um, enters our body and can have catastrophic effects on, on our biology, actually. We know that black and brown people are adversely diagnosed with high blood pressure, diabetes, heart disease. Yeah. All of those are consequences mainly of the stressors. You know, if there is um, one silver lining, I'd say, perhaps in um, COVID ushering onto this stage at this time, and even uh, the silver lining and seeing the video of how our people are being, you know, armed, armed people are being gunned down, it is the unveiling of the lack of, you know, access to proper health care or equality and justice right now for everyone, th those things that are adversely affecting our community. However, along with that, along with that unveiling is also the awareness that we are not alone. You know, exactly. we are not alone in this fight. Um, and that's why I'm so happy that um, Health Jocks has assembled, you know, this particular panel to address some of these issues. You know, exactly. we are not alone in this fight. Um, and that's why I'm so happy that um, Health Jocks has assembled, you know, this particular panel to address some of these issues. I just want people to know that there have always been people standing in the gap. And during this time of COVID, COVID-19, we have healthcare professionals standing in the gap between us mm -hmm. and COVID-19. Um, during this time, this epidemic of racism, we have protesters standing in the gap between um, between brutality and oppression and justice and equality. Mm -hmm. And right now we have health jocks who is standing in the gap, who's advocating for our mental health and wellness by assembling this panel that's gonna come to us and bring us you know, wonderful information, help us to understand everything that's going on. So I welcome them.